Well, hey, we're down at Timeless Arts Refinishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 616-453-8309. Check out our website at www.timelessrgr.com. <coughs> um, today we're going to be uh, shading on this uh, mahogany uh, hutch? China, yeah, hutch, China cabinet, whatever you like to call it. It goes to a dining room outfit. Um, the tables, uh, well, here's the chairs back here. Do you see chairs? Mm -hmm. They're already shaded to color. The table is um, sanded, sealer sanded, and I'm going to be shading that next. But right now, we're going to be tying in the color on this uh, hutch right here. And so you can watch. I'm going to start on the back side of it, doing the top, and then I'll spin it around. So I'm going to be using my shading gun first, and I'll come back with the lacquer.
Oh yeah, hey. Hey Lawrence, this is a, a great gun here. It's a, uh, you want to get one of these spray guns here. It's a Ingersoll Land, Ingersoll Rand. And uh, the nice thing about this gun is that you got your fan up top and your fluid, but down here you got an adjustment valve for uh, your, your uh, airline. So you can cut this back for shading. Like this, so you just a fine little, like a little airbrush. Can you see that? Can you see that, Daddy? Mm -hmm. You can cut that thing down that that fine. Yeah, it's really nice for when you want to get fine shading. You can cut it right on down like that too, and it works great for spraying lacquer. I got this at Tractor Supply for about a uh, hundred bucks. Nice gun. <laughs> should try one of these things. Once again, you get the little valve down here on the bottom that controls your air so you can cut your fluid way back or turn it up. So. You guys are thinking I'm touching the case. I'm not. I'm actually grabbing the bottom lip of the cabinet and pulling along that because it's got the shader on it. And I don't want to touch the shader and stick my finger in it. Have a little fingerprints in there.
you see it okay? Yeah, looks very okay. nice. Okay, I'll put one more coat on that, a clear coat, and I'll push it over there. I'm gonna shade the table next. And then uh, once I get all these things to color, that'll be shade, the color, two coats of clear, and then I'll sand it up and give it a couple more coats and she'll be finished. So thank you and have a good day.